everybody welcome back to my channel i am currently in a mask i just woke up and i just felt like doing some kind of mask i got this little like sample thing from a sephora point perk it's the cora organics turmeric brightening and exfoliating mask so i thought that i'd give it a try so far so good it comes out like this brown paste and then it kind of like dries and kind of like stains very similar to how turmeric does as you can see and it has these little beads the only thing that worries me is the beads i'm not really sure what they're made out of i really hope it's not like crushed up like nuts or something but welcome back to the vlog i thought that i would just pick up the camera and vlog today um because i actually got some new items in for Eid, and i really wanted to do like a try on because you guys really enjoyed that um last Eid. it's from the same brand it's veiled collection so it's like all modern pieces and stuff so I'll share that a little bit later and then also I'm gonna be doing a recipe in this video you guys have been begging for the cooking videos and honestly I've wanted to do them I just don't really like my kitchen so it doesn't really inspire me to cook like I know that sounds dumb but that's just the type of person I am like I really enjoy cooking and I really enjoy cooking in like a nice big space like an island where I just have a lot of work or like space to do work and like it's just not the vibe here but i'm gonna do it for you guys i'm actually yeah i need to just get back into the groove of like eating healthy and stuff and just eating in general i know that sounds like really bad but i've been having like one meal a day just i don't know i haven't really had an appetite lately which is weird um i'm not pregnant <laughs> case you guys are wondering that because that's always the first thing that people always wonder i don't know i just haven't really been feeling well and like not really physically feeling well just like mentally i haven't been feeling that well so i just haven't like had the appetite to eat but i've been eating like dinner and stuff and that's been fine um the weekends i've been going to my in-laws and like i just don't have my routine there and i can't like you know have all my healthy meals anyway i'm gonna be making some turkey meatballs so i need to go to the grocery store and like buy all the ingredients for that for now i'm just enjoying this mask it feels really nice it's kind of like tingly and it has like little exfoliating beads i feel like i'm actually gonna enjoy this Core Organics, I'm pretty sure, is owned by, um, what's her name? Like, Miranda Kerr? I think it's Miranda Kerr. One of the, like, the Victoria's Secret models. But anyways, I am going to get started on editing the vlog uh, from yesterday that I filmed. And then I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. Um, I think I might do a little bit of makeup as well so that I could share those outfits with you guys. Let me just give you guys a little sneak peek. So it's just some really gorgeous dresses and all of my favorite tones. They also just launched... Um, like a plus size section so they have like plus size and stuff so i'll share all of that a little bit later but so i woke up pretty early i'm getting a good head start um have a lot of work to do but i also want to make a nice vlog for you guys so i will see y'all later after i wipe this off <laughs> Just remove the mask. I don't have any other skincare on. Some of the little <laughs> bits are still on my face, but wow. Look at that. My face is still a little bit red, but I'm gonna put on the rest of my skincare and get back to work. <laughs> I don't want your love. Don't come to me now. I don't want your love. Hello guys, so it is many hours later. I finished editing my video. Well, I was doing multiple things. There was like some YouTube seminar that I was also on. And then afterwards, I get a notification on my phone. It's like 2.45 and it's a reminder that I have a medical like appointment. I put, thank God I put it in my calendar because it's at 3.30 and I 100% would have just missed it. I was low key freaking out. I got ready in like 3.25 seconds. I just threw on any outfit that I had <laughs> and I jumped out of the door. I really hope that I have everything for this. And then on my way back, I guess I will go to the grocery store and get all the ingredients for the turkey meatballs that I mentioned I was gonna be making, so. I am back at home now, guys. I'm all done with the medical exam, thankfully. Um, they were actually really nice. This is like my first official doctor's appointment in America, um, but they were like so sweet. It was actually a very pleasant experience. I did stop by at Ralph's on my way back. So let me share basically what I got. Um, 
so I have, I'm pretty sure I have everything that I need for the meatballs already. I have like my ground turkey over here that I'm gonna be using. And then all I needed was parsley, milk, ghee. Oh my God, okay, so my sister-in-law got me into using ghee. It just like makes things taste so good and it's supposedly healthy for you as well. Why is it so expensive though? This tiny little thing was $16.99 at Ralph's. I was like, excuse me, am I reading that right? This one has Himalayan pink salt already um, and it's grass fed, but um, yeah, I'm actually going to pan sear the meatballs in ghee first before I do the rest of it. I just got some garlic because I think I only have like a couple of cloves left. I have some marinara sauce. Um, this one is just a olive oil and garlic one. I got some ground cumin, Italian style breadcrumbs. And last but not least, I got a couple of different variations of pasta. Let's uh, get to the recipe. I forgot to say I totally got some more skinny pop as well. I love this. The Ralph's near me never has the lime version, unfortunately. So I had to settle for sweet and salty. So that'll be a nice snack. So I have all my ingredients kind of laid out here. I'm just going to quickly go through them. So I'm using some ground turkey for mine. You could use any ground meats. I have just a food processor so that I could um, chop everything. Some flat Italian parsley. Some garlic. I use a lot of garlic, probably like... Well, for only one pound, I'll probably use like all of this, which is probably like three or four cloves. Some red onion or white onion or yellow onion, doesn't matter actually. <laughs> um, for the seasonings, I have some organic no salt seasoning from Kirkland. This basically just has like a bunch of different seasonings. Um, so you can use like a mix of Italian seasoning or whatever. Some extra garlic powder because we love things extra garlic around here. Some lemon pepper. Would this be an Aisha Harun recipe without lemon pepper, y'all? I don't know. Some red cayenne pepper just for a little bit of a kick. Sorry, these aren't focusing. Um, organic oregano. It doesn't have to be organic. I don't really know why that is so organic. Probably because it's Trader Joe's. Some red pepper flakes, both for, like, it looks nice in it, but then also a little bit of spice. Smoked paprika. A little bit of some ground cumin and then I use some Parmesan cheese you could if you want to make this dairy-free you could use um, nutritional yeast and it would basically turn out the same I just have some Parmesan cheese some breadcrumbs you can also use gluten-free breadcrumbs some eggs I use about one to two probably just one today since it's a smaller batch um, some ghee for pan searing and then just some marinara sauce and pasta so that is everything that you need oh also a little bit of salt yes i forgot the salt so i basically just put everything into a bowl put some gloves on and mash it together and then make the little balls so y'all can watch me do that <laughs> So just put probably about a little less than half of a red onion in here and instead of doing the garlic separately in the food processor, I'm actually just gonna throw it all in together. I'm actually just gonna add the parsley to this as well. I was gonna chop it separately, but it's really no point because I'm gonna mix it all anyways, duh. To be honest, I'm kind of eyeballing all of the measurements, so just trust your gut while you're making this, but I used probably around like four whole garlic cloves. I used five technically, but two of them were kind of small, so I'm just clumping them into one. And then for the parsley, probably about a fourth of a cup or less. I don't know. So it should look something like that, just nice and finely chopped. And I'm just gonna add the mixture to the turkey. Once that's all in there, you can basically just add all your seasonings. I'm gonna try and find a better angle. Okay, unfortunately, this is the best that I can do. I told y'all the angles in here are just not ideal. So to this, I'm gonna add, basically when I add the seasonings, I just cover all of the meat 
once and then twice over and then that's how much I had. It's not very mathematic, but whatever. For cayenne, I'm just gonna do one little dash. Look at that much. Also, same with oregano. Don't really need that much since there's already some in the all seasoning. For Parmesan, I'm using about half a cup. <laughs> Seasonings are making me sneeze, damn. And then for breadcrumbs, I'm using probably about a quarter of a cup. Now for the egg, I'm actually just gonna use one. And then for milk, I'm gonna add just a splash maybe a little bit more than a splash into the egg mixture. And that's basically it. Oh, almost forgot the salt. You don't wanna over mix this because it'll make the meat a little bit tough. So I'm just mixing enough to that it's incorporated. And if you find it's a little bit too mushy still, just add more breadcrumbs. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to add a little bit more breadcrumb to this because it's a little bit too soft for my liking. It smells so delicious. So I'm just gonna roll these up into balls and place them just on a paper plate uh, with some parchment paper and then we can get to frying them or pan searing them. A tip to prevent your hands from getting too sticky from the meat is to just wet them a little bit with some water and the meat won't stick. Okay, so time to actually cook this. I have the ghee over here, so about that much. The good thing about ghee is that it has a very high burning point, so it's not gonna like burn by the time the meatballs are done. I did it, I fit them all. There's about 18 here, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's exactly 18 here. The goal is to try to um, get them in as even as possible. So as you can see, this one's really tiny. Um, that's gonna be our tester but it's looking really, really good. So I'm just looking for like a nice brown color on each side. So I'm gonna be flipping them as many times as I can so that the entire thing is nice and brown. Don't worry about it cooking through completely yet. Just make sure it's nice and brown. And then once that's done, I'm gonna transfer them to the paper plate and just kind of let them chill for a little bit while we warm up the marinade. But for now, time to sizzle. So now that the turkey's done, I'm actually, I had some um, marinara already left. This is the tomato basil pasta sauce, creamy pasta sauce from Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna use this because there's no point in opening up a new one. So I'm just gonna pour it into here. It's okay if there's a little bit of ghee in there. So I'm just gonna pour this in. And then I'm gonna put some water in here and kind of shake it to get the excess out. <laughs> So I don't think this is going to be enough marinara sauce for how many um, meatballs we have. So I'm going to add a little bit of this one as well. I'm going to transfer this to a smaller burner because it's not really that important. And I'm just going to boil the pasta and that is basically it. Once the pasta sauce heats up and kind of simmers a little bit, then all I'm gonna do is add back in the turkey in there, let it kind of mix and mingle for probably like five minutes until it's fully cooked through um, or until like the pasta is ready. And that is it, it's super simple. I think I'm actually gonna end up using the uh, Capellini pasta 
just so it can actually look like spaghetti and meatballs, but we'll know that it's a healthier version. So this is what the turkey meatballs look like. Some sides got a little bit more toasted than others, but that's okay because you honestly won't be able to tell once it's in the sauce. Totally outdid myself, y'all. Oh my god, does this look and smell amazing. Also, this jovial pasta is so good. If you're someone who, I was about to eat this, but it's okay. If you're someone who doesn't like whole wheat um, pasta, I would highly recommend trying this one. It does not, it honestly tastes better than regular pasta, if that's even like possible. I just added a little parsley leaf to look really pretty. And I am starving, so I'm gonna munch on this. Taste test time. Like I mentioned, this is the first time I made it with turkey, so hopefully it actually tastes good. Mmm. Oh my god. That is everything. Wow. That is so good. I have no words. Make this. Like literally just make this. <laughs> I wasn't sure how I was gonna taste with the turkey, but I actually really like it. I almost like it more than the beef. The beef was really good, obviously, but I feel like it was like super fatty tasting. Like this tastes a lot lighter and I feel like you can taste the ingredients a lot more so you can taste the onion and the garlic and the cheese and everything i hope this is healthy i'm pretty sure it is like aside from the cheese everything all the other ingredients are really healthy yeah that's tasty very tasty okay i think i've teased you guys enough i'm gonna go so a lot has changed since i last spoke with you guys last night um basically this morning i woke up super early i had to go to the dmv and the line was disgustingly long like it wasn't just around the corner it was around the corner around another corner and into another neighborhood like it was that long and i was like hell now nah. so i drove my ass back home mind you this was before it even opened so i figured like maybe if i go at like 4 p.m because they close at 5 like they'll have to let everyone in line in so i go and i'm about to get out of the car and then some guy with a megaphone comes out and he's like yeah sorry we're not gonna get to everyone in line long story short like you're not gonna be served so you're gonna be wasting your time for the next hour so again i drove myself home he said if you guys want to try coming tomorrow you can come between the hours of 4 a.m and 7 a.m and they close at they open at 8 a.m so he wants people to wait for three and a half to four hours in line in the dark, in a sketchy neighborhood for the DMV. It's making me question the move to America, to be honest. <laughs> okay, quick update. Um, <laughs> I just decided, you know what, let me just read like what I actually need for this green card application again, just in case like I miss something. Like, is it okay if I just have like an old version of my driver's license? See, this is why punctuation is so important and we need to we need to pay attention to punctuation, okay? It says that a copy of Aisha's official photo identity document, such as a government issued license, such as colon, or a passport identity page. I could have used my damn passport this entire time. Why did I go through all of this trouble? Why did I wake up at 6 a.m.? Because I'm dumb, that's why. Because I don't read, that's why. <laughs> I'm laughing because my ass is actually gonna wake up at 4 a.m. tomorrow and wait in line at the DMV for three and a half, four hours. <laughs> I need sleep. This lockdown is driving me insane. Insane. So uh, yeah, back to 
regular scheduled programming. Bye! I remembered that I promised you guys that I would share some of the Veiled Collection items. So I was about to do it on Instagram because I polled and did, um, or I did a poll on Instagram and asked if you guys wanted to see the try on haul today or tomorrow and like 90% of the votes are saying today. So I just changed real quick into the first item. I didn't have the time to steam it and now I'm kind of regretting it. I feel like I should have just steamed it, but it's okay, you guys get the picture. Um, you know, once it's steamed, it'll look a lot nicer. But I'm so in love with this dress. Um, all of the dresses I got in a size XL, by the way. I got a large during Ramadan for like their last Eid collection. And it fit, like their large fits me, but I just prefer slightly more loose. Because, I don't know, you can like move around. It's just like... You know, if you eat or if you have a little like, you know, quarantine 15, it doesn't show as much. So I just sized up. And what's great is that now that they have plus sizing, like you can actually size up. Um, like say if you were a large and you want like two sizes up, you can go larger. If you're an XL, now you have an option. So I think that's really amazing. And I just feel like more modest brands need to do that. But anyways, this is the first dress. I will just have the links to all the dresses down below. But again, reminding you guys that I do have a code. Um, it does save some money off your order so it's still the same it's the code Aisha and I will have all the details in the link obviously below so let me try to do this quick because I feel like this vlog is already quite long but this is the first dress that I got that's part of their Eid, um, Eid al Atta collection I am so in love with this very similar to their Juliana dress that they launched um, for Eid al Fitr but I don't know, I just really like the fit of this a little bit more. I feel like it's just a lot easier to walk in. I really like the tie over here. Um, so basically it comes, I don't want to loosen this, but it comes with these really long ties and you can either tie it in the back or in the front. So I just tied a little bow. It's not really like staying up how I want it to, but that's okay. But look how gorgeous. Of course it would look a lot nicer if I actually steamed it, but I love this like sage green color. Also, this jersey scarf and underpiece is also from Veiled Collection. I don't know if these have launched yet, but I actually really like the underpiece. Like, it's a really nice underpiece. It's not too tight on the head, but it, like, lays flat. Like, I don't know. It's a really nice quality, and they have cute colors. So, I definitely recommend checking that out. But this is what it looks like. It zips in the back, and I just love everything about it. I love the length. I am... I actually... When I went to the doctors yesterday, she said that I was 5'5". Five five. So either I grew an inch or I've been lying, I've been lied to this entire time. So I'm actually 5'5". Five five. Thank you very much. I'm not 5'4 anymore. It fits like, you know, if I take off the heels, it like just hits the ground. So I feel like with a nice kitten heel or even something a little higher, it's just like so beautiful. These shoes are from Nasty Gal. So I'm just going to be wearing them for the try on haul, but I love this dress so much. I feel like I'm actually going to end up wearing this one for Eid. Um, actually, potentially, I got the same one in another color, so I'll share that next. I just did the Instagram story for this dress and was about to take it off and realized I forgot to show you guys. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, basically, if you want to see everything first. But I'll show you guys how you tie it. So it comes with this really long tie. Look how pretty. Okay. I'll show you in the mirror. I love this color. This one's in like their nude color. It's the same dress as the last one though, but I think I like this a lot more. You guys saw my closet obviously and you know that these are all the tones that I wear, but it's just so beautiful. I feel like this would be so gorgeous for like a bridesmaid's dress or I mean, I'll likely wear this one for Eid or the I might wear the green one. I feel like this one I want to save for like a photo shoot with me and Muhammad or something. I feel like that would be so pretty. I love this. Like they did such a good job designing this. It like fits perfectly. Like even though it's not even steamed, I feel like it still looks so gorgeous. Yeah, this one's definitely a fave. Got this style over here. This one's not my personal favorite. I just feel like the design is very loud for my taste. Um, but it is a very gorgeous dress. It's like a satin material still like the other ones. And I do really like the design of it. Like I really like the ruffles on the bottom. It makes it really easy to walk. And it's like, you know, just has a really nice movement to it. Um, but the main reason why I don't like it is that, first of all, the fit. It fits a lot like more, not tight, but more snug than the other styles. 
Um, and then also this belt that's over here isn't really long, so it has this really short and kind of like awkward looking bow. I don't know, but this one's almost sold out, so obviously a lot of people do really like it. The sleeves are really pretty, and overall it is a gorgeous dress. I feel like a lot of people are going to like this. It's just not exactly my style but this one is available in plus sizing so so i'm kind of in love with this last dress i didn't expect to like it because i ordered this one in a 2xl um just to kind of show what the plus sizing looked like but i honestly really like it it is massive on me like massive um it's also quite long so i feel like i'll probably only have to or only be able to wear this in when i'm wearing like higher heels but it's so cute it's like this knit material i just feel like this is going to be so perfect in the fall time where i just want to like cozy up in like comfortable outfit um the arms are also quite long i always have that problem though so it's not even that bad um but yeah i could either belt this if i wanted but honestly i really just like it like this it's like this massive it kind of just looks like it's meant to be like that and it's just so cute it's like a modern abaya i really really love this one so uh, just a tip if you guys are around my size or even if you're not my size if you really like how this looks I would just order um, two sizes up from your regular size and it'll look like this on you um, I'm interested to see how it would look if it was in my size I feel like I probably wouldn't like it as much but I love this I love the tones too like even with this jersey scarf this jersey is also from Veeld Collection but it's so cute I just feel so cozy in this like I just need some pumpkin spice latte Little pumpkin scone from Starbucks. Oh, I can't wait till those come back. Yeah, this one's a fave for sure. Y'all, I somehow made it better. I had this like metal belt. I don't know, not chain belt. There we go from Nasty Gal, and I had no idea how to really style it. Also, it like is one size and doesn't really fit me how it's supposed to. I think this thing's supposed to be like a lot longer, but that's okay. Big people problems. <laughs> Um, but anyways, I really love how it looks with this dress. I think it looks so beautiful. I feel like this is definitely how I would style it. I feel like I want to try and find another chain, maybe like a vintage one. I know like Chanel makes some and some other designers, so I might look for one because I really like how they look on other people. I just need one in my size. But anyways, regardless, I feel like this looks so pretty. And when I don't want to, you know, have the paper bag vibe, I can cinch it in and it still looks super cute so other than just like catch up on a lot of work before the weekend so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i know it was kind of long i think with like the recipe and like the vlog and this try on but hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you do try out the recipe of course tag me on instagram i love seeing your guys's recreations it honestly makes my day if you think it's lame to tag me on instagram don't because i freaking love it so yeah tag me in your recre recreations and if you do purchase anything from veiled collection then tag me on instagram as well i'd love to see your beautiful bodies that sounded so weird i meant to say faces <laughs> what? Yeah. subscribe to my channel we're like literally right now we are almost at 395 395,000 y'all we're only 5,000 away from the big faux haunted k so let's make it happen okay i'm really hyped because i just i don't know i just kind of am right now and we're gonna deal with it um but thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i love you guys thank you for being my company during this lockdown um, and let me know what other videos you want to see from me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.